Welcome to Coulter Holmes Inside World Pickleball Show, a weekly program featuring the sports lifestyle and action on and off the court of the fastest growing sport in America, pickleball. Hello, everybody. I'm Carl Foster. Welcome to this week's edition of Inside World Pickleball, the year 2020, and what a year it was. Well, we're looking for the hope of 2021, not only in the world itself, but in the world of pickleball. And I'm Melissa McCurley, president of pickleballtournaments.com. Welcome to this week's edition of Inside World Pickleball. Coming up on this week's 2020 Year in Review show, our cover story showcases how the APP Tour juggled events around the country with pro exhibitions, then was able to stage Chicago, Cincinnati, and Hilton Head tour stops, led by founder Ken Herman. We had 14 events lined up, so now we're actually closing the season at Hilton Head this year. So we're thrilled to be here. This is an unbelievable place here at Palmetto Dunes. Who knows where I'll be in a few years. I hope to still be competing at the highest level. I've been playing pro for about six years now, and uh, and I just love it. It's just a way of life, so we'll see what happens. We've, we've come such a long way in pro pickleball, which is great, but it, it, you know we're nowhere near you know, where we want to be in the future. We're nowhere near tennis or, or some of these sports that have been around a lot longer. And so, you know, um, a lot of my passion and what I feel is important to the growth of this sport is the education of kids. The PPA Tour also had events canceled, but was able to hold several tournaments in Texas and Georgia with the year ender in Las Vegas, as Melissa caught up with founder Connor Pardo on the forecast for 2021. Um, as far as our overall vision, I think, yeah, I think we're right on cue. I think we're growing, we're learning, we're progressing. I think each tournament's getting a little bigger, a little better, a little more special. Uh, well, I want to win everything. So <laughs> that's my goal. Um, I want to, well, I want to not lose a single match in singles. Pickleball has been around for a long time, but the way it is today is completely different from the day I started. We'll also help improve your game with the Engage Pickleball Tip of the Week from national champion Steve Kennedy. And we have six New Year's resolutions to make 2021 your best pickleball year ever. All this and more to come on the Coulter Homes Inside World Pickleball Show. This week's show is presented by North Point Bank. Relationship-based banking. Your number one choice for home loans and high interest savings. And PGA Village Verano the award-winning gated community in Port St. Lucie, Florida. You're watching Inside World Pickleball. Shopping for a new home in Port St. Lucie? Start your search at pgavillageverano.com. Discover a resort-style community by Coulter Homes featuring social and fitness clubhouses, award-winning homes and villas, championship golf next door, a 55-plus neighborhood, and South Florida's largest private pickleball center. See virtual tours and build your dream home online with interactive floor plans at pgavillageverano.com. North Point Bank works to be a different kind of bank, with you at the center of everything we do. We customize products and services using a client-focused approach, which means listening and then delivering on quality solutions for our home lending clients. Whether that's a low down payment for first-time home buyers, alternative financing solutions for self-employed borrowers, or streamlined construction options to build the home of your dreams, we've got a solution for you. Connect with the Brandt team, your local lending experts at North Point Bank to learn more. Happy New Year, Picklers, and welcome back to our first show of 2021 and our cover story, the year in review for the only USA Pickleball-sanctioned Pro Tour, Ken Herman's APP Tour that has 16 dates on this year's calendar on the road to the Miami Masters. The 2020 season was supposed to kick off here in Hilton Head. We had 14 events lined up, so now we're actually closing the season at Hilton Head this year. So we're thrilled to be here. This is an unbelievable place here at Palmetto Dunes. For the 2021 schedule, we've got 17 events scheduled all across the United States, hoping that we can bring that APP experience to somewhere in your neighborhood there. The live stream production team of Kyle Selenko for the APP Tour were on hand for pro exhibitions in Bend, Oregon and Grand Rapids, Michigan, before full tournaments were cleared for Chicago, Cincinnati, and Hilton Head towards the end of 2020 and captured some of the best points of the year.
incredible Whoa. fight there by Franco and Ansbury to keep this Hold alive. On, take all of today's exhibition. One point for each game that they win today. We had a, a lady take it in Bend, Oregon for our first exhibition, Jesse Irvin. And uh, looks like we're posed for another lady to take the top spot, which you'll love to see. Oh, oh my goodness. That's coming oh back. My gosh. No way. What? Yes. They're winning this point. Oh, oh wow. no. unbelievable. Wow. That's awesome. That's at an eight, too. Pros and amateurs were all excited to be back on the pickleball courts, working with COVID restrictions in 2020, but hope of a vaccine and getting lives back to some kind of normalcy for an exciting 2021 tour schedule. Prize money and the growth of two tours and other tournaments and so forth, where you can make a full-time living and this is where you want to be? I, I already do this full-time. Um, I, I really never expected to go too far with it. I just knew I love pickleball, love playing. Um, I was making it work, but nowadays, you know, there's a lot of opportunities with the business side, the pro side, teaching, a lot of opportunities popping up. So who knows where I'll be in a few years. I hope to still be competing at the highest level. I've been playing pro for about six years now, and uh, and I just love it. It's just a way of life, so we'll see what happens. Where do you see this sport going here in the next uh, two or three years? You know, uh, we've, we've come such a long way in pro pickleball, which is great, but, it, it, you know, we're nowhere near you know where we want to be in the future we're nowhere near tennis or, or some of these sports that have been around a lot longer and so you know um, a lot of my passion and what I feel is important to the growth of this sport is the education with kids uh, it's getting it back in schools it's you know it, you know years and years ago they played pickleball a lot more in PEs and now it's starting to come back more and you know we want to make it a university sport some of the colleges have made it a club sport and so you know the goal is to get it to an NCAA sport and then once we get there that that's what's important with the growth internationally you know for us to get in the Olympics someday so that's a big reason why I'm so involved with education is because without kids Kids, we we don't have a future with, with pickleball you know I I'm 46 years old now and in and, and tennis there's not a chance that I can compete with these kids uh, whereas as pickleball is a bit more strategic there's that uh, that more of a, a soft element to the game uh, which I, I really love and it, and it allows me to compete with the younger kids so Punta Gorda Florida at the pickleplex is sold out and we'll kick off the APP tour this weekend January 7th through the 10th the Los Angeles Open, right at press time, we found out was postponed to later in the year due to California's shutdowns. But the inaugural Delray Beach Pickleball Open registration is underway for March 18th through the 21st, 2021 at the Delray Beach Tennis and Pickleball Center in Florida. Vitacost.com. This is happening. Find us at yellowtennisball.com. Safe and socially distant seats now on sale.
The PPA Tour also faced the same event challenges in 2020, but were able to stage successful events at the Texas Open and Georgia Open with a season-ending championships and team competition in Las Vegas, where Melissa McCurley caught up with founder Connor Pardo. Yeah, I mean, like any new business, we've learned a lot of things here in the first year, which I think is great. Um, you know, there's a lot of growing pains. Um, I think we've done a fantastic job of what we've done so far, um, especially given the circumstances. Um, as far as our overall vision, I think, yeah, I think we're right on cue. I think we're growing, we're learning, we're progressing. I think each tournament's getting a little bigger, a little better, a little more special. And, you know, parring COVID, we obviously would like to be able to have more fans and more people here, kind of like the very first stop we had. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think things are going great, and I think next year is going to be bigger. It's going to be better, um, and we just are so happy to, for the future and what's to come on the PPA Tour. And we really wanted to bring a team format to pickleball. So basically what it is is there's a total of 36 players competing. Uh, we have six of the best players of the world that are um, captains. Um, and what we did is we actually had a team draft at our very first event in Mesa where um, each team captain drafted six players on their team. So each team, it consists of two male professional players, two female professional players, one male senior pro, and one female senior pro on a team. And so it's really fun. So basically, Team Johns would play Team Right, and what it would be is there would be a women's doubles mat match, a men's doubles match, and a mixed doubles match, and each team captain can choose what lineup they want to play against the other team. A lot of strategy, they submit it, and it's a whole lot of fun. So we had it at our three largest payout tournaments this year. We had it first in Newport, then we had it in Atlanta, and then the finals is here in Vegas. So they're actually playing for a total purse of $50,000, wow. which is a lot of fun. Yeah, wow. we're in the finals here right now, so <laughs> a lot of fun. Each uh, The winning team, each individual will take home $3,000 each. Large stadium with few spectators was the norm, unfortunately for 2020, due to restrictions. But the top players had good spirits and great competition with positive outlooks for an aggressive 2021 schedule as well. So what is it we can look for from Ben in 2021? Uh, well, I want to win everything. So that's my goal. <laughs> um, I want to, well, I want to not lose a single match in singles. Um, that, that would be my main goal. No matches lost in singles. No matches lost in singles. Yes. Okay, so you guys, you have heard it here first. No matches lost in 2021. And will we be seeing you on all the PPA Tour events? Sure or? will. All, I think there's going to be at least 15. So yeah, every oh. single one. So Money, what can you tell us going to uh, come for you in 2021? What do you have planned? So, oh gosh, the, from the get-go. Uh, so, so a lot of it, it will be, um, you know, training. And then I'm playing the PPAs. Uh, I signed the contract with PPA. I'm so happy, so excited because it's perfect for me. It really suits me very well because I get to play less tournaments. I, I already have them picked out for me. And then on top of that, I'll play the US Open, Nationals, and then two others. Okay. Uh, so, so in a way, it actually makes my schedule make sense. And I am going to be making good enough money to provide for my family, which is so exciting. So I'll have a good three months off probably. And I think she'll be pretty similar. And Mesa could be the first one back, first tournament so. back. I think it probably will be. So yeah. that's okay. A little break is good, and it'll get us excited to come back for more. Mm -hmm. I know that they have a lot of cool things in store in 2021. So yeah, yeah. and, and you know, anyone that wants to find out more about the PPA Tour, go to ppatour.com. Uh, it is going to be a great 2021. Discover the plus in 55 plus living at Crestwind Palm Beach. Located in Westlake, Florida's newest city, Crestwind Palm Beach is a fresh new home choice designed for the next generation. Crestwind Palm Beach is a 55 plus community for those who thrive on a happy, healthy life through fitness, nutrition, and relationships. Nine decorated models now open. To learn more about all the pluses Crestwind offers, visit CrestwindPalmBeach.com. That's CrestwindPalmBeach.com. North Point Bank works to be a different kind of bank, with you at the center of everything we do. We customize products and services using a client-focused approach, which means listening and then delivering on quality solutions for our home lending clients. Whether that's a low down payment for first-time home buyers, alternative financing solutions for self-employed borrowers, or streamlined construction options to build the home of your dreams, we've got a solution for you. Connect with the Brandt team, your local lending experts at North Point Bank, to learn more.
Delray Beach, the Delray Beach Pickleball Club, and with Marsha. Marsha, how did you find the sport of pickleball, and why do you love it so much? I'll tell you what, I fell backwards into it. My uh, long-lost friend from school for over 40 years ago, uh, he lives in Atlanta, and he's like, Marsha, you got to go play pickleball. I said, pickle what? I mean, pickle what? I mean, for a year, I resisted because I, I just, you know. And then uh, he set me up with uh, Steve Kennedy, who is a top uh, teaching pro in South Florida. And uh, the first shot I hit, I don't know if it went in or out, but I fell in love with it, and Steve was great. And then I just progressed. I used to play professional tennis a long time ago, and I think tennis players, there's a lot of tennis players coming into the game, and some of the things are easier for us and a lot of things are harder because pickleball is a soft dink game and I'm from the bang bang world so but uh, it's a great sport old young um, anybody can play it that's what's so great and I found the game of pickleball 18 months ago when I, uh, my wife and I are full-time RVers I'm a retired soldier and she's a nurse a traveling nurse on one of her assignments, we stayed in an over 55 community, thought it was tennis, and they invited me to play, and I've been playing practically every day ever since. Well, my name is Mark Miller, and uh, about five years ago, a tennis buddy of mine said, you gotta come play this game called Pickleball. And I started laughing, of course, never heard of the game, and uh, played it on Wednesday night, and Thursday morning I was in Dick's buying a $100 paddle. <laughs> uh, it's an addictive game, the reflexes, the fast action, it's just, uh, you get hooked on it immediately. So how many times a, how many times a week are you playing? Uh, only eight. Only eight. <laughs> only eight right now. Only seven days in a week. <laughs> only I'm cutting down. Cutting down. Hi, I'm Robin, and I'm a tennis player. And I had some tennis friends about four years ago who said you have to come and play pickleball. And I said what? What's pickleball? And I they said you're going to love it. And I played once, and I was hooked. I just it's very very social because in tennis you're playing with the same people for two hours. But in pickleball, you play a game and then you switch around. You have different partners, so it's so such a social game. So where is tennis? There are four people here. There are 24 people, and we just constantly mix it up. So I think that's why people love it. It's just so social, and you get a great workout. Why do you love pickleball so much, and how did you find the sport of pickleball? Oh, I guess it's more satisfying and less injury. That's I think most of the players, because they're old, and they got tennis player too many injury, they switch on pickleball because they said, more satisfying and less injury and the only thing is fun you have too many people play with you they're so nice and very social we have met so many people in this community people said to me you know um i was here for two years and didn't know anybody since pickleball we're all friends and so we're just looking for the community to open up and be able to have fabulous events here please come out and see this beautiful community it is well worth the visit i love the engagement of the people i like the fact that here's all these things going on in our life and no one's immune to what's happening but yet we respect each other we respect each other's space and we can have fun and as a coach my number one rule is you have to have fun my number two rule is look at rule number one so people out here are having fun and they love to get together and they just want to have something that's organized and fun something to do every day to look forward to it and this is like Taj Mahal for pickleball right now we're very fortunate to be here I'm very honored and very blessed that I get to even be here with these folks uh, we were tennis players um, I wasn't very good you know like oh that's fine a three oak type of player me and my husband played all the time and we lived in a retirement community at the time and uh, an older gentleman um, named Cappy he's probably like 87 or 88 was playing pickleball and we love him and he called us over come on over we need a fourth and I said you know that doesn't look fun and eh. we said but he kept asking and we love him so we went and played and we never played tennis again that was about um, 11 months ago 10 months ago maybe and uh, yeah we never played tennis again we had so much fun and you realize like these guys are in their 80s 90s and they can play but it can be also super competitive we play with 25 year old firemen and we run around and burn 1200 calories in two or three hours I'm down like 18 pounds since I started playing it's just a great sport we play six days a week sometimes twice a day and we're pretty much obsessed so we sold our house and we bought here because of pickleball court. it's time for the engage pickleball tip of the week with senior championship pro Steve Kennedy hi guys Steve Kennedy again listen make sure dinking's a, a very important part of this game make sure in your dinks the first thing we want to think about is eliminating backswings I like to tell people that this is a kitchen line but it's also a wall my paddle for the most part does not to get 
does not get to go behind the wall. I want you to keep your hands forward. I want you to get out there like you're going to catch a ball and be accepting to the ball. So if a ball's coming to my forehand, you see I open my hand here. All I got to do is put my paddle in my hand and that's going to have the same look. Remember, your paddle is only an extension of your hand. Okay. Now, if we're going to do the same thing on the backhand side, is I'm going to try and keep my paddle forward of my body. I'm going to have an open paddle face and I'm going to try and lift. Now, if you guys always see when I demonstrate, you see my left hand, it's always counterbalancing my, my shot. So when I'm in here, I hold it here. I don't let my left hand go forward and let the body over rotate on the shot. When you're out hitting your forehand, look, the left side's gonna stay still. The only thing you want happening is here. And notice, guys, it's all coming from the shoulder. When I start doing wrist and elbow, I start adding in lots of lots of moving parts that won't work. Let's demonstrate a little bit. Remember that in pickleball, the ball doesn't bounce up very high, so we gotta make sure we're bending the knees, that the paddle is in that 11 o'clock position, and that we have the ability to dance with the ball. I want you to be nice and relaxed. Everything from the shoulder. Here we go, Lee. So right back into your 11 and relax. We lift, the paddle stays forward. I want you to hold your your dink at the end for a fraction of a second, Lee, good. So when you make and freeze, right at the end, you're gonna freeze right there. So freeze right there. There you go, better. Good, and the nice little lift, use your left hand to counterbalance yourself a little bit. There you go. Push that paddle forward, push that paddle forward. Good, let your body dance with that ball, Lee. Dance with that ball. Good. So you see on, on some of these shots, Lee might be taking a little bit too much of a backswing. So the correction would be is not to take that big loop, but to shorten things up and keep things here and keep things short and fluid. All right, so guys, remember all those pointers and get out there and get a practice partner and work on your dinking. Here are six New Year's resolutions for your pickleball life. And yes, they will improve your game in 2021. Try new things. Practice shots you don't usually make time for. How about a few around the post shots? Maybe some dink lobs. Ready for an Ernie or two? Time for a drop serve. Number two, don't hit out balls. Shoulder high, let it fly. Travel and explore new pickleball courts around the country and maybe even travel out of the country once we get through this COVID pandemic. Stay healthy, fit, eat well, and stretch. More dink and less bang in 2021. And above all, have fun and get out there and play a tournament. So as pickleball continued to grow during a national pandemic by 300,000 players due to being able to socially distance outside while getting great exercise with retail sales booming 150% in a shutdown economy in many parts of the country. Let's continue to rally together for the love of pickleball, play more, and have a prosperous new year in 2021. See you at the next tournament across the country and join us again next week as we explore the world of pickleball on and off the courts. And that's this week's edition of the Coulter Holmes Inside World Pickleball Show. For my partner, Melissa McCurley, I'm Carl Foster. Enjoy your pickleball. Hope you had a great 2020 and looking for a better 2021 in the world of pickleball. Because of COVID, we had to move this event usually in December. Right now, we would be playing. So talk about your team. Gosh, uh, well, there's a lot of interesting matchups. And um, they seem to be fairly evenly matched to me. Um, of course, I'm not going to lose to Steve. That's not going to happen. Uh, but oh, I, do like, I do like to give him some credit that he's definitely going to give us a run for our money. Yeah, I love, like, I really love this format. I, I, I think you touched on it really uh, before earlier, Ben, and, and how you see some very interesting matchups. This week's show is presented by North Point Bank, relationship-based banking, your number one choice for home loans and high interest savings. And PGA Village Verano, the award-winning gated community in Port St. Lucie, Florida.